Miller Lite Pro Beach Volleyball is brought to you by Miller Lite. When it's Miller Lite, less filling really tastes great. By Kawasaki. If it isn't Kawasaki, it isn't jet ski. By LA Gear Catapult with the anti-fatigue rebound mechanism that you can actually feel from LA Gear. By Killer Loop Sunglasses by Bosch and Long. And by your local Chevron dealer and high quality Chevron Supreme with the cleansing power of Petroline. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sunderland, final action. Powers and Johnson with a big lead on Smith Stokeless at the moment, nine to one. Ball is blocked, nicely done by Stokeless. Recovery, Johnson booms it. Powers and Johnson really working well together. AJ got stuff, but they're communicating quickly and decisively for such a new team. Once again, if you're wondering about Adam Johnson, what is he wearing on his feet? That's a new product, uh, little foot booties, foot digs, feet digs. And it's supposed to give you a little spring out of the sand, prevent blisters. Something unusual for the men's professional beach volleyball tour. And they're quite colorful. Oh, great sir. There's the ace. And in only 19 minutes, Johnson and Powers drilling Smith and Stoklos now 10 to one. Maybe those things do work, Paul. Well, they're giving him a solid platform here, and this is just into the wind right over the top of Randy Stokos. No chance. That is the third ace by A.J., Adam Johnson. Here he goes again. Out. And that one too long, but strong serving by Powers and Johnson has really helped that team. Johnson. Smith and Stokel still looking for win number 100 together. Johnson blocks. There's a point. Stokelos stuffs one down. And really, Smith and Stokelos need Stokey to get hot blocking, or Sinjin needs to go on a phenomenal digging spree. Well, Smith and Stokelos not out of this at all. They can put a point run together, as you mentioned, Smith digging or jump serving, and Randy Stokelos blocking, and they keep it on young Adam Johnson. That's Type trouble. set. AJ pokes it. And trying to get it over Powers, and he does. So Smith and Stoklos showing a little life now. I'll tell you, they're down 10-3. If they get back to 10-5 and go over to the good side, in terms of confidence, they're going to feel like they're right back in this thing. If Powers and Johnson give up another point, look for him to take time out, or maybe a 20-second timeout to break the momentum. And here it comes right here. 10-3, a couple of quick points, and we're going to take a timeout. We're coming back to Santa Barbara. Stoklos will have the serve when we return. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, 10-3. As Smith Stoklos score a couple of very quick points. Johnson up hard. Johnson looks like he's really getting out of the sand well here. He's 6'3", but he's slightly built, so he looks a little smaller than that. Good jumper, though, and yep. always had an excellent arm swing. He can move the ball around and bring it with heat if he has to. He is supposedly banned from playing on the USA national team because he accepted an offer to play in Europe as that ball is served out of bounds. He accepted an offer to play in Europe for $100,000. Well, who wouldn't take that? But Doug Beal, the uh, general manager of the national team, said, you'll never play on this team again. And so I asked him what his status was, and he said, I'm not worrying about it right now, but I don't think I'm able to play for the next 10 or 15 years on the USA national team. I think that'll change. Well, I think it should. Yeah. Uh, I remember one time I was offered what was for then big money to play in Europe in 1978, and Doug said I could go, and that would be fine, but I could never, ever come back, and I decided to stay, and then we boycotted the Olympics, yeah. and the rest is history. And then just to top off the story, Doug Beal got an offer for about $300,000 a year, and he went to Europe. <laughs> so I wonder if he's banned. Powers oh. with the stuff. So PP. Talk Stops about banning. PP is banning the cross court from Randy Stoklos. Once again, you can't say enough about the blocking ability of Pat Powers. This number four, way over the net, jumping out of the soft sand. That was a key point. Powers looking for win number one this year. Adam Johnson going for his first win of all time. He's never even been in the final. Got third last year at the USA Championships. And another ace. Rack it up. It's an ace. And now Adam Johnson and Pat Powers feeling it. 12-3 is our score. Johnson and Powers in command.
The AVP Tour rolling through Northern California, the Miller Lite Santa Barbara Open. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland watching final action. And this man, you recognize him? Laz Karai, Karch's dad, scouting. Taking up and coming notes. partners for Karchi when he gets back. He's probably got a video camera hidden somewhere. Best information we have, Karch and Steve Timmons will be back the first weekend of June. If they are, if they're back a little before that, we will see them in San Antonio at the Alamo along with Davy Crockett and San Antonio. Where is that Santa Ana? Our freestyle lapse time, and this has been the quickest final I can remember, especially with Smith and Stoklos on the losing end. Yes, you're... It's hard to believe. 12 to 3 is our score. And Johnson and Powers have the lead. Powers telling Johnson to run, 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 do the do run, run. But Johnson couldn't get there. When the ball is set that tight, Sinjin Smith's only hope is the high loopy over the top of the block. He wants Adam Johnson to read that. If Sinjin tries to cut it inside Pat Powers, he'll chop it off with the inside hand. And Paul Sunderland, the wind and rain may be coming. Cloud cover is here. Powers, pretty good set. Oh, and Johnson tips it right through Stoklos. Stoklos might have missed it. And I think Stoklos is going to talk to Rick Olmstead and say maybe uh, there was interference. Now let's see, how, how did this ball get by Randy Stoklos? Randy is just a little bit too far inside. That's a great play. And Adam with the pokey right down the line. And as we answered on the beach bag, incidental contact is allowed. You can touch the other player under the net. So good non-call by Rick Olmstead. Powers and Johnson by nine. And that serves out of bounds. I have to tell you, you know, with these ribbons for lines, it bounces all the time. You can never really tell if the rope jumped. It used, used to, to be a, rope. a much heavier gauge rope, yeah. and now if there's a, any kind Bouncing of Bouncing all the time. How tough does it make it on the officials? Did the, did the ball hit that line, or is it just blowing because of the wind? Powers down the line. Good first side out. So now Johnson will put the ball into play. Just a reminder, we will be picking our Killer Loop Kill Award winner. The man with the most kills will get $500. Sponsored by Boston Loam. And let's check right now with our stat man who is leading. That Powers has six. Sinjin Smith has eight. Eight kills for Smith. So Smith in the running for the Killer Loop Award. And Johnson and Powers right behind. That would be bitter consolation for Sinjin Smith if he wins the 500, but the eight grand goes out the window. And once again, crowd is trying to taunt Randy Stoklos on the far side. He's waiting, and security trying to firm it up over there. You see the security in the black shirt. Johnson blocks. It was a low, tight shot, and Stokos got one. So Stokey's starting to warm up. He's got two. I still think this lead a little bit too big in these windy conditions. It'll be awfully tough for Smith and Stokos to come back, but if they have to make a move, that's how they're going to do it. You never know. Smith and Stokos have done it before. Tight set. Jamming. Powers. And Smith has it. Chance for another point. Stokos got it! The same exact shot he did in the semis, and this time it's worth a point. I thought it was good in the semis, and I thought this is a great shot. This one was better. This one was better. Sinjin Smith with a good read. Now watch Randy. Doesn't give it away at all. Keeps his hands high. Adam Johnson getting into the picture, but really didn't have a chance. One of the great shots this year on the beach. Three straight points for Smith and Stoklos as they try to close the gap against Adam Johnson and Pat Powers. 22nd timeout, that's two for Powers and Johnson. You're allowed four per team, and Stoklos waiting and wondering, will this be the day that Sinjin and I get our 100th victory? Didn't come last week, Hovland and Steffes were there. This week, Johnson and Powers. Powers. A nice set. And Pat, with that extension and great arm swing, is one of the, maybe the only player who can go over the top of Randy Stoklos. I'm not sure that was a very smart serve by Randy. Maybe it got away from him, but yeah, why I don't serve know. Powers when you're blocking Johnson? Well, you've just blocked him, and you've had him in trouble a couple of times. Yeah. And look at Pat, right over the top. And Pat, if there was any doubt whether or not he had recovered from the hand injury to it back in shape, he's answering it this weekend. Yeah, why not? Why not? Very nice shot by Sinjin Smith. 
hitting hard. The temperature is dropping and the wind is rising. We're up on this scaffolding and it's about uh, 20 degrees up here. And the cloud cover is coming in. The crowd is not left, however. They're trying to figure out, too, what is going on out here. How a good set. Ooh, Smith with a great dig. Still close to Johnson. Back to still close. Here comes Randy, and there it goes. The Kings get another point. First mistake maybe by Adam Johnson. He had a sitter right on top of the net, could have cranked it or hit it deep. Great dig by Sinjin Smith. Look, watch Randy Stokos adjust. He moves back to get into the win. And look at Adam just pokes that one right to Randy. Drill that yeah. thing. Gotta make the guy pay or hit it over his head deep. And there's a timeout on the sand. We're going to take a time back to Santa Barbara after these messages.